Welcome to Zoho CRM. Going through this course will help you understand and work on major administrative settings available in Zoho CRM. Let's begin by taking a quick tour of the Zoho CRM setup page. So now I'm logged into my Zoho CRM account. In order to access CRM settings, you need to click on the setup right here. Here, as you can see, the various CRM settings are grouped into six broad categories. Right now, I'm going to give you an overview of what each setting is meant for. Now, before we begin, take a look at this huge search bar right here. So even if you're unsure how to navigate to a particular setting, you can just enter a keyword right here. Say I want to access workflow rule settings. I type in workflow and I can directly access the automation settings I want. Okay, so now back to the setup tour. First, you have the general settings. Under general settings, you have personal, company, email settings, and game scope. Personal settings lets you enter your name, contact details, location settings, and add a signature. This signature will be used in emails that you send from the CRM. Under company settings, you can specify the name and contact details of your organization, upload your business logo, set a fiscal year, define business hours, and set currency details. For the deal amounts that you enter in the CRM, the revenue calculations will depend upon the currency settings you make. Company details can only be set by administrators. Using email settings, you can add your personal email account as well as your organization email to Zoho CRM. You can also enable email insights here to get email analytics and measure the performance of your emails. Now, last of these is GameScope, which is actually a really fun feature in Zoho CRM, as the name sounds, and it gamifies sales for your sales team. As an administrator, you can conduct contests between your sales reps and set criteria for winning. These contests could be for things like who completes their sales tasks faster or who closes the maximum number of deals per week, etc. You can choose the length of these contests and run them for a few hours or over a span of a few weeks. When your sales reps meet the criteria, they will automatically be rewarded in the form of trophies and badges. So as you can see, this is designed to help your sales reps stay motivated and really just feel good about themselves so that they can do better work. Next we have users and control. Here you can add and manage users, groups, profiles, and roles. You'll be able to award or restrict permissions to certain users based on their roles in your organization. So for example, the permissions you award to a manager will not be the same as those for a sales rep. Apart from managing users and their permissions, you have something called territory management right here. So if your business spreads across several regions, let's say more than two or three cities, you're likely to have sales reps managing the sales processes in each city. So you can replicate the setup in CRM using territory management. You can define what we call territories in CRM and assign sales reps and manage sales processes in CRM based on these territories. Next we have the customization section right here. These are various tools that make Zoho CRM your own. If you are, say, into the real estate industry and you think the standard CRM modules such as leads and contacts do not fit the bill, you can create new modules such as tenants and landlords. So you can add new modules, new fields and sections, define permissions for these fields and sections. You can add your own links, you know, whatever works for you. In addition to this, you can customize email templates for different modules and choose them while sending emails to customers. You can also create inventory templates. Say, if you're into retail, you can create your own template for invoice, quotes, purchase orders, and sales orders. We'll have follow-up videos in this course that will elaborate more on customization. So now we're going to move on to automation. Now this is one section where most CRM processes revolve around. Automation is really the backbone and the brain of a CRM. So your sales process contains a lot of routine tasks that take up a huge chunk of your day. For example, you may have to send the same emails to different users, or you may have the same tasks to assign to different sales reps. And these types of mechanical tasks can actually easily be automated in a CRM. Zoho CRM comes very robust with automation tools. You can write workflow rules to automate different processes. You can write rules to automatically assign incoming leads. You can load leads into the CRM automatically using web forms, etc. So there are many different areas in which automation can really save the day 
by saving CRM users a lot of time. Follow-up videos in this series will cover in detail the automation tools you should be aware of and exactly how a workflow rule works. The fifth category here is extensions and APIs. Zoho CRM's capabilities can be extended by integrating with other applications. Now, these could be other Zoho apps or third-party apps. For example, you could have your accounts on Zoho Books. When integrated with the CRM, you'll be able to work on your accounts in Zoho Books within Zoho CRM itself. Or let's say you're managing events on your Google Calendar. You can integrate Zoho CRM with your Google Calendar so that the events in both the applications are in sync. You can even integrate Zoho CRM with a third-party app using our APIs. We also have a marketplace where you can browse for extensions and install just the ones you want. So this section, Extensions and APIs, deals with any integration between Zoho CRM and another application in order to extend the CRM's capabilities. And finally, you have the Data Administration section. Here you have all the settings that have to do with exporting data, taking a backup of your data, viewing storage-related information with an audit log, etc. If you wish to migrate to Zoho CRM from a different CRM system, you would use the Data Migration Wizard from this section. So these are the different setup sections in Zoho CRM. The follow-up videos in the Administrator series will elaborate about each of these settings further. For more information, please visit us at zoho.com slash crm slash help.